Hi students and to everyone watching around the Philippines. I am Teacher Danica, your Grade 10 Computer System Servicing Teacher. And today you will gain a better understanding on diagnosis and identification of faulty computer network systems. As I will demonstrate the three methods of resolving IP address conflicts. At the end of the lesson, learners can identify computer network problems and gain skills on how to resolve IP address conflicts. When you suddenly cannot connect to the internet, many of the several things could be wrong. And one of it is IP address conflicts. This is an example of a network error you will see when you encounter IP address conflicts. If your computer and another on the network both have the same IP address, the conflict between them will prevent either from working properly online. To resolve an IP conflict, follow these instructions to release and renew your IP address. If your network uses static IP addresses, manually change your IP to a different number. Method number one, restart your router. Your router can be failing to assign appropriate IP address to the connected device. This can be caused by a temporary glitch, but most of the time this is cleared by a simple reboot or power cycle. To do this, switch off the router. Wait one to two minutes and turn it back on. Once it's on, give it another two to three minutes to settle and then connect your device back. Method number two, release and refresh IP address. Click start and type CMD. Right click CMD and choose run as administrator. In the black command prompt window, type the command net sh. INT IP reset space C backslash reset log dot text and press enter. The second command is IP config space backslash release. The last and the third command is ipconfig space backslash renew. We will just wait for a while and then it will renew. The system will renew the IP address. And to check if it's working, we need to type the command ping or ping space 192.168.18. That 46, which is the current IP address. And when it says reply, then that's the time we can assure that it is working. Method number three, remove static IP address. Press and hold Windows key and press R. In the run dialog, type ncpa.cpl and click OK. Right click on local area connection if you are using wired internet connection or right click on wireless con network connection if you are using Wi-Fi. Click on properties in the drop down menu 
double click on internet protocol version 4 tcp ip slash ipv4 select obtain an ip address automatically select obtain dns server address automatically click ok click ok and close all the windows Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. So good afternoon again everyone. I am Maria Danica Sikeya, a TELE teacher in this institution. So now we're done with our Google Forms and also with our Google Meet. Now let's discuss about Google Drive. Okay, so in this topic, I've extracted this into four contents. First, I will define to you what is Google Drive. Second, I will show you how to access Google Drive. Third, we will be exploring Google Drive tool icons. And then fourth, we'll be having the Google Drive activity. So what is Google Drive? According to google.com, Google Drive is a cloud-based storage solution that allows you to save files online and access them anywhere from any smartphone, tablet, or computer. You can use this drive on your computer or mobile device to securely upload files and edit them online. Drive also makes it easy for others to edit and collaborate on files. Now, based on my experience, since I've known this Google Drive, I, I did not bring with me any more uh, flash drives physically to share it to other people because I have this Google Drive already. So I can access them anywhere, anytime, given that I have an internet connection. Then with regards to collaboration, if you could remember when you, we, we were uh, getting modules from the region, uh, the soft copy was shared to us through Google Drive. So I know you have uh, experienced this Google Drive already. And we'll just try to explore it more today. So when we say Google Drive, this is just an online uh, flash drive. So moving forward, how to access Google Drive? Given that you have an internet connection, of course, we cannot access the Google Drive if we do not have internet connection. So first, we can access it through email by logging in your email. Click the waffle icon and find the icon for Drive. And then we could do also by typing drive.google.com in the URL box. And also, via link, we could access uh, Google Drive via link given to us by the people who shared their drives or vice versa. Okay, so let me do away with my presentation and show you how to access Google Drive. So this is my debit email account. In here, you can see the waffle icon again. And then when you click the waffle icon, it will give you the, the icons to be used for the uh, the different icons for apps for the application that we can use. So we are looking for Google Drive. So we'll click Drive and then it will give you the interface for your Google Drive. And then if you are not comfortable with that, accessing through email, then we could use the URL box. You can, you can type the, here uh, drive.google.com and then when you press enter, it will also show you the interface for your Google Drive. We'll, be, we'll have our activity already. So first, access your Google Drive. Make a folder with a file name 2021-03-15-19 underscore inset. So after making that one, screenshot your Google Drive interface showing the folder 2021-03-15-19 underscore inset. And lastly, compose an email, attach the screenshot of your Google Drive interface with the subject 2021-0315 and there's a dash 19 underscore inset underscore Google underscore drive. And please send it to mariadanica.asikea at deped.gov.ph. So that ends my presentations.
Thank you so much for watching. God bless and have a good day.